Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Microsoft Power BI project file format. This is part of my video series on Microsoft Fabric. I'm currently making a video for every single item on the DP600 study exam as a way to learn and prepare for the exam myself. Today we're talking about Microsoft Power BI project files. So let's go ahead and jump in and let's take a look. All right. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to open up an existing dashboard that I have. And this is actually a dashboard that I built here on the channel. So give me a second for it to open up. All right, so here we are in the dashboard. Now, this is a dashboard that I made a video about. And if you roll over, you can see that when I click this little drop down up here at the top, that it's currently in a PBIX file format. This is the normal file format of Microsoft Power BI files. Now, a Microsoft Power BI project file is a special type of Microsoft Power BI file that allows you to kind of explode out all of the details of a report and save them in a way that is super great for things like version control or team collaboration or continuous integration development, or even editing a Microsoft Power BI file without any of the Microsoft Power BI tools. So first things first, we need to go enable a few preview features. So let's click file, then options and settings, then options. And then once we're in options, let's go ahead and let's go down over here to preview features. The preview features that we want to make sure that we have turned on are the Project BI or the Power BI Project PBIP save option, the store semantic model using TMDL, so that's uh, one of the new file formats, and then also store reports using enhanced metadata format. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's click OK. And these are going to be features that are going to require a restart of Microsoft Power BI. So first, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to restart this dashboard and then open it right on back up. All right, so I just restarted the dashboard. So now I am in Power BI. So this dashboard is currently saved in a folder called Color Picker. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a new folder in here. And in this new folder, I'm going to title this PIPB. OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go File, Save As. I'm going to click this little drop down right here. And it's actually it's PBIP, sorry. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click Browse This Device. And I'm going to rename this the, to the correct file format. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to rename this PBIP. OK. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save it right here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click Save. OK, now this sometimes can take a little bit longer. But there we go. I've now saved it as a Power BI project file. You can tell that I've saved it as a Power BI project file because now when I click up here, it now says P PBIP and then it says report and then it says semantic model and they're saved in two different places. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at the files it produced. So if we now open up that folder, we now will see a few different things. We'll see the actual Microsoft Power BI folder here. So the, P, the Microsoft Power BI desktop project, we'll see a Git nor, and we'll see a report folder and a semantic model. So this is the actual Power BI file right here. This Git nor is if you're using version control, which is something that we just made a video on. This would tell it what files not to include in that version control. And then the report contains all the files related to the report, and the semantic model contains all of the files related to the data model. So first, let's go into the report. If we open up the report file, what we're going to see is we're going to see a few different things. So we're going to see this a definition file, which is just kind of the Microsoft Power BI desktop report. Okay, we're going to see this dot platform file. Um, and then we're going to see a few other folders. In this .pbi folder, we're going to have a local settings, and this is going to contain all of the local settings to my specific computer. You're going to see a definition file, and this definition file is going to contain 
uh, information on every single one of the pages. So for example, if I open up this one, you'll see it'll contain right the active pages and the page order. Okay, we will then also have, if we click in here for every single page, we will have a file that then details out things about that page. So right here, for example, it's called page one and then the display. And so like here, for example, you can see the width of page one in the dashboard. You'll have this folder called visuals and you'll be able to see all of the visuals that I have on the page. So for example, if I go in here, here's my visual file, right? And you can see the position that I have it in and the place. So this is, for example, this is the file for the shape I have back here, right here, right? And then if we go ahead and we get out of this, if we go back, we can see here's all of the other visuals that I have on my page. And then if we back out of here, okay, right? It's, I only have one page, then I only have one folder here. And then I also have this version file. Um, and this version file is gonna have information about the actual, you know, uh, Microsoft Fabric or Power BI schema that I'm using. And I'll back out one more time. Finally, we're gonna have this folder called static resources and the static resources file is going to have shared resources. So for example, things like Power BI themes or I was using a background image, uh, the background image. All right, so, and then we also have this Power BI. So let's, let's quickly take a look, if we go all the way back here, as, and, and review what is in this report. So in this report, we're gonna have the Power B, the .pbi file, which is gonna have the local settings. We would also have a customs visuals folder if I used any custom visuals. We're gonna have a definitions folder, right? And in this definitions folder, we're gonna have a uh, report file, a version file, and then a pages file. And then every page is gonna have a folder. And then within that page, um, you're going to have a page file and then every visual is gonna be listed out individually. Um, and then you're gonna have finally a static resources folder with all of your individual files stored. So that's the reports folder. All right, let, now let's take a look at the semantic model folder. So in the semantic model folder, you're gonna have uh, a few additional things. So you're going to have the semantic models definition, which if I go ahead and I open this up, um, will tell you the Power BI file that I'm using right here. You're going to have a diagram layout file. And this is going to be uh, the version of where I have all of my actual tables and where they all are. Um, we're then going to have a .pbi file, again, with both local um, editor settings, and then also this is my data cache right here. So like if you wanted to switch out data caches, you could. And then if we go ahead and we go right here into definition, we're gonna have a few different folders. And if your data model is more complex in this report, you would have a folder for each uh, one of the objects, right? So you would have a folder for cultures, tables, um, measures, and uh, things like that. Cultures being like English, US, right? And then tables, I only have one table. And inside here, you're gonna have the TMDL file of that table which if I open this up and I will go more apps and I'll open up in Visual Studio, but there is a Visual Studio code for this. You can view right here, every all of that data. So you can view things like, for example, the table, the lineage tag, um, icons, or sorry, the table icon, you can view then also kind of the partition as well as the Power Query behind it. And there's a whole formatting um, section and explanation of this. Now, um, that's basically the uh, the PBIP file format. I think it's incredibly useful when you think about it in terms of a business enterprise. If I'm just someone that's building a Power BI report, uh, you know, I think I think there's some cool things you can do where you can like copy in themes, or if you have a visual you really like, you can copy and paste the visual really easily before report between reports. But 
when you're talking about in your enterprise setting where you're having to manage multiple semantic models, maybe sometimes with C sharp or automatically deploying them, this new file format is a game changer. In particular, you know, even if you're working with multiple people and you need to blend a single Power BI file, you instead of having to like figure out all these things, you can go ahead and you could just paste the actual Power BI file by code. It's great. All right, so if you've made it this far in the video, first, thank you for putting up with me because uh, <laughs> I know this video has been a super, super long thing. What I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna challenge you to do is I'm gonna challenge you to go and download Microsoft Power BI Desktop, uh, create some dashboard if you already have an existing dashboard and save it as a Power BI file or P Power BI project file. Then I want you to try and take a visual from that Power BI project file and move it into a new file using code, right? So let, let's see you do that. Let me know down in the comments if you're successful with it or if you're running into any problems. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate the time and I hope you're learning alongside me.